All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to Too Much Tech and today I'm extremely excited. We're gonna be playing with the GTX 1080. Oh my God. Did I just say 1080? I meant to say 2080. Wow, that was horrible. But that's funny though, I'm gonna leave that in. <laughs> Did I just say GTX? I think I meant to say RTX. Cause that's the whole point of this video. RTX, ray tracing, all the extra crap and DLSS and whatever the heck it is. But that's what we're gonna be doing today. And we're not only gonna be playing with RTX, we're also gonna be playing with Threadripper. So we wanna see how well can a productivity system really handle gaming? Is it a bottleneck? Well, of course it is a bottleneck because it's not gonna be as fast as something with a higher IPC and a little bit less cores but it's okay we want to see how it does because for those of us that do need a workstation grade system we want to make sure that we can still game and get good performance too so i think this will be a really good test to see how well rtx does with threadripper and see what kind of frame rates we can get in game so i haven't actually played it too too much in depth with uh, Battlefield 5 and ray tracing. So that's the game that we're gonna be testing today. I think it's gonna be pretty fun. I play Battlefield 5 without ray tracing, but um, yeah, let's see if we notice a difference. So first we're gonna test the game without ray tracing to see what kind of frame rates that we get. We're gonna leave it on ultra settings, maxed out everything, motion blur off because motion blur is lame. And then uh, we're gonna turn ray tracing on and see what that does to our frame rate. Does it chop it in half or what? I swear the last time I played this game, I played on this map too. Ah! Heal! Oh crap, I hit him. So it looks like we're hovering like right around like 130 frames a second, 140-ish. This is looking pretty good. It's on the ultra settings. Everything is maxed out. I'm pretty sure if we had like a higher, a lot higher clock speed, we probably could get much higher uh, Frame rate. That was a cheeky little snipe, though. Honestly, like I don't, I don't know how to spot people in Battlefield Five. Like I don't. Okay, chill, chill. So clearly, server browser doesn't work in Battlefield Five. I didn't know that, or maybe I just don't know how to use it. But um, I don't think server browser works in this game. Dang, like even without ray tracing, like look at that. That just looks fantastic, and it's not even on. 140, 150 frames per second. Like that's that's still like pretty freaking high. Oh, I'm cheeky. Oh, oh. Don't get me wrong. Like they were standing still and they made that real easy. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna act like I'm a, I'm an MLG pro or anything. Oh, oh, that's just a hit. Come on. Okay, you're like, man, this guy, he's just, you, you're just camping. I'm like, hey, don't get me wrong. I got a sniper, these snipers suck. Like, I need to, I need to pick my shots and hit them. You know what I'm saying? What? How does the bullet spread work in this game? Like, are you serious? <laughs> and click the X. <clears throat> All right. And now we have DXR on and we're gonna turn the ray tracing all the way to high because why not? All right, guys, so we're playing with ray tracing on. I've been seeing the frame rate fluctuate between like 80 on the low side and 95 on the high side. Um, I'll be interested to see if it, the, like, with ray tracing on, if it actually goes over 100 frames per second. That would be cool. So, let's just see if that is possible or not. Of course, as soon as I get the high ground on these people and I'm overlooking the whole team, 
somebody comes up from behind. Of course. Happens every time. Maybe I should put on like an iron sight. Hopefully like they wouldn't see like my skull. I keep forgetting like in Battlefield they show oh, crap. Oh my goodness, he he was waiting for me. Literally. I keep forgetting that in Battlefield though, like when you aim down on sight, they have scope glint so they can see like exactly where you are. Hey brother, get off your tummy there, scallywag. Come on! As soon as I start quick scoping and I'm phased, somebody's always gotta put me down. Teammate! Teammate! Teammate, I'm right here! Teammate, pick me up, dog! Teammate, come on, man. Don't do me like this. Don't do me. Teammate! Okay, guys. Like, I, like, all right. So this isn't supposed to really be like gameplay. This is supposed to be like ray tracing. Even when I try to show the ray tracing demo, it doesn't work. So, like you guys like see the like see this light right here. You see this light, and then you see that little uh, all these little rays coming from the light. Yeah. That's ray tracing. And I'm getting like 80 frames a second when I was getting like 130, 140. Are you crazy? It just nuked the frame rate. I can't even, I, I don't even see no ray tracing on this map. Like, honestly, I feel like the easiest place to notice ray tracing is like on glass, like on a, uh, oh crap, I'm dead. Dang, I'm not dead. But like on glass and on, um, on like water and stuff like that, like, if there, if you aren't playing a game with a lot of glass or a lot of water, you're looking at it like at that specific moment in time, like it's really a waste because like with anything else, like I can't really tell the ray tracing. What I, I don't know what it's doing for me. You know what I mean? Because like I can't, I can't tell the difference. So it's like the game looks good enough. One, because it's on PC and it's running on high end hardware, and two, it's on ultra settings. So like there's, I, I don't know what else to be done. You know? So I don't know, guys. Like what I spend a ton of money on a high-end GeForce GPU just for ray tracing. You can't tell me that. I can't I can't give you a hard yes on that because I <laughs> I have no idea. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Not for ray tracing. Now just because of the speed of the car, totally different story because it's gonna give you crazy frame rates regardless. But as far as getting the car just to experience ray tracing, you better find a friend that has an RTX car and use that mug because I I personally I can't advise you to buy it if you only want to buy it just for ray tracing like no don't do it please so basically guys what i was trying to say at the end of the video it was kind of just like in the heat of the moment because obviously i was playing the game and i wasn't really seeing the results like the real results of ray tracing but do i think that for 800 plus dollars if we're talking 2080 and 2080 ti level stuff even over a thousand dollars do i think that the value proposition for ray tracing is really there i honestly cannot say yes like i just can't don't get me wrong if you're buying them for the performance of the individual card that's a totally different story because the performance is definitely there like they are highest end graphics cards that you can get so they're going to be fast they're going to be able to push all the frames that you want but if you're purely upgrading just to see what ray tracing is like i genuinely cannot recommend this to you all right but that's gonna be it for the video guys if you guys enjoyed be sure to drop a like subscribe if you guys are new let me know if you think ray tracing is a ripoff or not and uh i will see you in the next video